Hey guys, welcome back to Caesar 3, or some pe people pronounce it Kaiser, uh, Kaiser 3. Anyway, if you're on YouTube, you've clicked the link to follow through with the Peaceful Campaign, and we are here on the fourth assignment looking at Taraco. Let's get this started. Once again, I want you to found a new city, but the criteria for success are a little different this time. The Roman Empire is in crisis. Whether because of Ceres' anger or due to human incompetence, famine stalks the empire. You have governed long enough now to understand the dire results of a lack of food. Thus, I am speeding up our colonization of the new province of Hispania. Imperial surveyors report finding a valley with ample farmland and good river access for seaborne trade. Build a farming colony there and be prepared to ship food back to Italia. As always, I will rate your performance, and this time I have modest expectations for you. Although your city need not house as many people as the last one, it should be more prosperous and should achieve better culture. To reflect my increased reliance on you, I expect you to earn more favor with me as well. I will require frequent shipments of food and will look favorably upon you if you fulfill these requests in a timely fashion. Many lives depend on your success at opening this new food source for the Empire. There is no military threat in Taraco. You need only manage your city well to end the famine and restore people's confidence in their government. All right, welcome back to Caesar 3. We're here on Taraco Famine in the Empire. The ratings aren't too difficult. 2,500 people, prosperity of 25, favor rating of 70 is pretty high, actually. Culture rating 45, peace rating 30. Let's go to the city and see what we're dealing with. All right, so let's slow things down. Now, this mission, this mission, uh, we've got some issues. And by the way, I was uh, reading YouTube comments the other day and I just remembered there was some guy who complained that I drank coffee and, and he had an issue with me breathing out after I drink coffee. You know, because, I don't know, it's a hot piece, it's a hot cup of coffee. But anyway, just for you. Ah. That's just for you. <laughs> anyway, um, this map has some interesting, interesting uh, problems. Uh, interesting problems uh, because this map is small and also very jagged and difficult. So one problem with the immigration bug. By the way, if you don't know what the immigration bug is, I'm just gonna go ahead and demonstrate this. We'll build a bunch of houses here, and we'll speed it up. Let me just show you what we're dealing with. When we reach population of about 200 people. Uh, people will start moving out. So if we just move all these people in, as soon as it hits 200, people are disgruntled, you see that, and immigration will stop, and everyone will move out. This is called the immigration barrier. Um, I consider it a glitch. Don't mind them, they're just burning. Uh, I consider it a glitch, but uh, it's a problem. The only way to get past it is you need to have a population of 300 and then people become happy again. So the problem is, to get to 300, we have to have enough immigrants on the map so that when it hits 200, there's enough immigrants on the map to push the population up to 300 while people are moving out from being unhappy. Right, because you'll see here, as soon as we drop below 200, happiness will restore and they'll start moving back in. That's not... So, we could do something like this build a well maze to delay the immigrants from coming. We could do something like this, but this is hideous, tedious, and just, I, I've overdone it on this map. I was just testing. Uh, I could probably end somewhere around here, but this well maze here, this is something we could do, which I don't want to do, because who wants to watch me build a well maze? So what we can do, we'll just replay this map. Once again. We'll slow it down. On this particular map, because of the rivers, what we can do is we can put a couple low bridges here. Cost works out to be about the same. It works out to be about the same. We're gonna clear a path here so they can walk through. That should get through there, okay? And we're gonna just build a low bridge over here as well and make sure that there is a path going through all the way. So we can get through here, get through there, break through here. 
Just clear off a couple of trees around this, make sure they can actually walk around like that, and they can come through here, they can go through there. Okay, and that looks good. And as with our challenge on this map, we are gonna be uh, not reusing any block designs. So on this map, there's no gatehouses, so we're gonna have no gatehouses. So what we have to do is we gotta put down some wells to block immigration. So now, when they move in, they're gonna have to come this way, cross the bridge, go all the way around this way. Much cleaner than the well maze. Much cleaner, right? And yes, this is because this only happens on very hard difficulty. Very hard difficulty. You guys like the maze well? Yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. Uh, so now, let's clear off some of these trees. We're gonna redesign this road. I'm gonna do maybe a sort of snake pattern. A snake pattern of, of road, you know? Gonna make it look somewhat interesting. We're gonna come down to here. Uh, we're gonna get rid of that tree there. And have this road and one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm not gonna be very efficient on this block design. One, two, I'm not gonna be very efficient, but one, two, three, four, five, six. It's different and it looks interesting. And we go one, two, to here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're gonna do this and it'll link up like that. We're gonna build a city that looks like that. Snake road. I mean, it's a single road design, right? It, it's nothing too fancy, but uh, we're gonna do that. Okay, and all of that should be fine. Okay, so now, since the distance is so far, we can go ahead and just spread out some houses. I'm gonna spread them out at the start because people move in to the houses you place first. And we're gonna have to plan for food as well. So one, two, three, we're gonna have a road here. And we're gonna need to have a granary How do I want the granary? Yeah. So this is not a particularly efficient road design, but I think it looks nice. And sometimes that's what's important, right? Sometimes we need something that looks nice. Uh, we can do that. One, two, three. We can have this road there. And we're gonna have one, two, three. A couple houses there. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're gonna have this road do something like that. So we have the road there. We have a couple houses there. People will be moving in soon, don't worry. And I think that should be good enough. If I, if I just look here, farms... I think I'll go for pig farms on this one. Ah, yes, so we can have extra house here and here. Okay, just to make sure things are safe. And then we can put down rows of houses, leaving some room for services and facilities. We can do that. We can do that. And that should be decent enough. And we can scatter things around. So now if we speed up, People should start moving in. They can make it through, right? I did clear a path, right? Did... <laughs> what happened? Did I not... Where's the... Where's the block? What's blocked? Isn't this cleared? Can they not make it through here? These sheep aren't blocking the way, are they? I mean, that's that looks pretty clear. Where's the... come on. There must... there's a clear path. Am I missing? 
They c yeah, I, I know they got deleted because they can't be reached, but... I'm pretty sure all of this is cleared off, right? I don't see any trees blocking the path. Okay, there they come. Okay. <laughs> They're on the way. So, nope, not there. There. I'm not too concerned about money on this mission. It's gonna be okay. It's fine. We'll just continue. So we're gonna have that. Scatter some houses around here. Scatter some houses around here. And then... There we go. Now people are moving in. We can go ahead and... Get these going. Okay. Just a little mishap. I'm not sure which tree I did not cut down, but it's okay. There. Plenty of houses. Place the ones over here first, because then as the immigrants come in, they'll move to these first, and then they'll reach here second and third and all that. So now, as we wait for them to make their way around, we can go ahead and get a reservoir down. Uh, somewhere there should be able to reach. Fountains. So one, two, three, four. We can have a couple of fountains there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. A couple of fountains there. Okay, we'll get those going first, and then we're just going to keep building things. Prefecture, prefecture, because there's intersections and all of that, we're going to be extra safe on all of this stuff. And have plenty of engineers posts and all of that. Uh, engineers posts. And there we go. They're making their way around this river. And what else do we need? Uh, we can... Well, we just have to wait for people to move in, really. And yes, I think I lost money from those houses disappearing, but it's okay. We'll, we'll survive. We'll survive. It's just a little mishap. Just a little mishap. <laughs> uh, after that, what are our exports? Only water trade routes, as far as I can tell. They buy food, they buy marble and pottery. So that's the one we're going for. Marble and pottery. We could set up something down this side if we just clear off these trees. Uh, make sure it's cleared off. We could have this road. I don't want to deal with those stairs, if possible. Uh, one, two. So marble mines can go along here. That looks okay. And then this road can come down this way. Workshops... ...can go along here, I guess. Clay pits can go along there, and it seems like a dock can go right here, right? Yes. Dock can go right there. And this road will come up this way, go around that way, come up that way, and that way. And that's our road for our city. Population's coming on up now. We're gonna need another reservoir on this side, I think. If I just clear off some space here. Reservoir. Fountains. One, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four. We're gonna need a fountain there. I think that should cover almost every, no, we're gonna need one there. Okay, so you can see, long line of immigrants. This will get through the immigration bug problem thing. And it seems like we need a few gardens to get these houses evolved. Just to make sure immigrants do keep coming in. Come on, evolve up. There we go. Uh, because once we hit 200 people, they're gonna stop spawning right there. There we go. And these houses have moved in, so we can go ahead and start putting down some farms because employment is gonna be a bit of a pain. Uh, that should get things started, actually. Houses are that way, houses are that way. I'm gonna need a couple houses here and there. Like here. That should be safe, actually. There we go. So 
Because we're above 200, immigration stops, but look how many immigrants we have going around this little river. And that should get us to the population we need. And we're starting to get unemployed workforce. So, let's start getting things down. We're gonna need a warehouse... Hmm, how do I want to do this? Well, I guess I just sort of wait for people to move in, and what? Oh, that guy just killed a sheep. <laughs> well, if you want to do that, I guess that's something you can do. We'll deal with employment by doing this. Okay, and we gotta start... That should be enough food to get things started. We gotta start getting... Um, our marble going, I think. One, two, three, four... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we can build it like that, yeah. Actually, I'll shift this road one over. There we go. So population is now at 300. So if you see here, people are annoyed with you. That will solve itself soon. People still are moving out, so it drops the population. But we see more immigrants coming in just enough to keep it over. Uh, people are unhappy. Unemployment has reached 13%. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start putting down marble quarries here. And I'm just temporarily going to break that road so they walk over that way. That makes sense, right? And I'm just going to have extra prefectures and engineers posts around here. And I suppose we should have... These sheep are in the way. Uh... I suppose we could do this. Oh, the sheep are moving off. Okay. Because there's going to be a dock here, so I'm going to put that there. Okay, that looks good. Until these houses move in, we're going to have a bit of a problem. We're still above 300 people, though. People are still annoyed with me. Hopefully, yeah, there's still a few more people moving in, so we, we should be safe here. These marble quarries will start up soon, and then we can start selling marble. Don't forget the gods. Yeah, totally. Um, how are the gods feeling right now? They are angry. Jeez. All right, let's get that going then. Ceres. So we can just scatter temples all over the place. Ceres, Neptune. Uh, can go right there. I'll try align the, the temples to uh, the roads as much as possible. Mercury can go there, I guess. Uh, Mars can go here. And Venus and go there. There we go. All the roads lined up. And we're in debt. But not to worry. Not to worry. We got backup funds. It's okay. So these marble quarries... Looks like we're a little short. What is our... We're short by eight employees because people are starting to move out there. But come on. We're above 300. They're still annoyed with us. People are moving out, but we're maintaining above 300 people. That's that's what's important right now. We're short by 20 employees as people slowly move out. But we should be able to break this entrance now. We'll break it open. Ah, it's January, so we just got a birth of population, keeping our population above 300. Look at that. Uh, January is when kids are born. So now when people move in, they should be able to move straight into our city. And we just have to wait, really. We just have to wait. I guess to make sure this... ...maintains... ...I'm gonna do that. Alright, I know this looks weird. I know this looks weird, but we have to... we have to... ...do this. You know, we might be able to fix this a little fast if I... ...up... ...people's pay and drop taxes. That should be fine. Food is coming in, so we'll be prepared to feed people relatively soon. We'll get these going so they don't burn down or collapse. There we go. Population 350. People are indifferent to you, which means we can now drop wages and raise taxes again. And people being indifferent, you hear that sound effect, people will start moving back in. Jeez, we're killing all these sheep. The police do not like sheep hanging out on the road. There we go, people moving back in. And that will solve our problems. 
So now we can go ahead and get a dock down. Oh, we need to destroy this bridge. Sorry, you might have to walk. Oh no, you just despawn. Okay, get rid of those bridges because those are low bridges. And now we can put the dock down, which is going to go right there. Still too few people. But now we should be able to hook this road up. We can break this road now. All these people are going to move in and we can get our industries going. Once these houses are in, things will be easy peasy. Uh, now, how do I want to store goods here? I suppose... We need a place for pottery, so I guess pottery can go there. And we could have a backup pottery store here. So we have stores on both sides. So this side is going to be getting pottery. This side is going to be accepting pottery. And we're gonna need one more warehouse right here, I guess. Which is gonna be storing marble. There we go, and those houses have moved in. We can now hook up that road because this now has access. And a request for 10 pottery. Now, how's our employment? City's still short by 18 employees, so we're waiting for people to move in. We're now at 500 people. It's working. It's working. Look at that. I'm now a master of getting around the immigration glitch. <laughs> did it. Did it. We, we figured it out. We figured it out. Just took a couple missions to properly figure it out. Ah, But there we go. Marble is starting to be stored up. So we could just open up that trade route. Uh, 650 will pay to open that trade route. We'll now start selling marble, export all of it. Uh, how's our employment? We have unemployment. So now we can start doing raw materials, clay pit. Let's go one, two. We'll go for two first. Workshop, pottery, one, two, three, four. We could fit one more there. And people are just moving in. Ah, fantastic. That means we can start to get markets down. Market. I'm gonna wanna... Because the roads are not efficient, I'm gonna want markets sort of everywhere. I guess another market here would be good. I want a market over on this side, but the walking distance is a little far. But let's get two markets down. Yeah, that's fine. And also, because this is a single road, what we can do is I can have a theater right here. And I can have an actor colony right here. How do I want to do this? Oh, right, disease. Actor colony can go there. And we're going to need some doctors. Uh, Go ahead and have a doctor, please. And I'm gonna put a doctor... <laughs> ...here as well. And maybe a doctor... ...there as well. Three doctors. That should keep the place healthy enough. So now, this actor colony will send out an... ...theater guy. An actor. And he's gonna walk to this theater. Ah. The markets will get pottery from the warehouse. Ooh, yes. Uh, thank you for reminding me. Stockpile. Stockpile the pottery. There we go. Now, how is our employment? Short by eight. Okay, we gotta wait for those houses to stop burning. Uh, these... We're gonna start feeding people here. Oh, damn. The houses here got sick as well. Which means... One, two, three... We actually have the road do this, actually. So we can have the engi backup engineer's post there. One, two, three. One, two, three. Or do I want the road just sort of going down like that? Yeah, that looks good. And just in case, I will have a doctor here as well. Replace those two houses. Look at that. Doctor for the pig farms. Keeps them safe, keeps them happy. We'll replace these houses. How's our employment? 5%. Okay, we can continue to expand our industries. Raw materials. One more marble quarry there. 
uh, raw material, one more clay pit there. We could have another couple pottery workshops, one there. One there. Looks good. And we are actually starting to sell marble. Here comes the... F was it, is this the first guy? Probably not the first guy. There's a prefecture not touching any road. So there is. Um, let's just shift this over to a way that makes sense, shall we? Prefecture and engineer's post should go there. And we could put a couple houses there and clear off all of that to keep it clean. There we go. Fill up that little row back there. People down this way are starting to get fed. The first feeding is always going to be an absolute pain. Uh, we should be spending some of these people on more pig farms. I could do that. This, that's quite a few farms. Not sure if I could fit one more. You know what, just get it going. We need a lot of food. All right, money starting to come in, pottery starting to come in. Is everything not burning down and collapsing? We're at a thousand people, looking good. Fires are a little tricky around here, but it's kind of because... Uh, um, it's kind of because... Tents burn faster. Maybe if I get these houses evolved a little bit. Let me try use some medium statues. Medium statue. Like that. That looks good. How are the gods feeling? They're indifferent. We do, if I'm not mistaken, we do have oracles which use up a couple bits of marble. But that should be fine. Unemployment 3%, not the worst thing. I think having statues next to these fountains looks good. There we go. Now these houses are evolving. Look at all those people coming in. Ah, oh, fantastic. Now, how much marble is sold? 25 a year. I'm not sure if this is producing enough marble to support all of that. Raw material. Can I fit any more on this road? I suppose... Will it spawn going up the staircase there? <laughs> I hope it doesn't. I hope it doesn't. I hope that actually spawns on this road. Ah, look at this. This is starting to look nice. This is starting to look nice. Why is a doctor necessary? Um, I don't know. They, they got sick just now, so... The single ones aren't in danger of disease? I mean, these burnt down from disease just now. They really did. I'm not sure if food's gonna be able to... Don't knock my mic over. Uh... Not sure if food's gonna be able to reach this far end. That far end might be a little tricky, but let's wait for this side to stabilize first. And they need desirability and schools. Ah, schools. Uh, how do I want to do this? I suppose three schools should safely cover all of this area. Uh, 12 months. How much pottery do we have? Short by one. And we do have unemployment, so let's slow the game down. Let's get schools down. Let's get baths down. Uh, we could put one here, one here. I suppose three of each will safely cover whatever, right? Let's have... Yeah, we could have baths there. Uh, but we're gonna need a reservoir back here. Okay. Uh, what else do we need? Libraries. Two libraries should do. We'll speed things up again. Library. Library. We could do with a Senate. Senate could go here, actually. Take up one tile there. That seems efficient. Okay. And just to make sure we are taxing people, we'll put a forum up on this side. There we go. That's looking decent enough. Um, yeah, that looks good. That's look, that looks good. Uh, what else do we need? Gladiators. We're going to need an amphitheater over on this side and a gladiator school over on this side. Look at that. Destination Walker. <laughs> this stuff is what sets us apart from the first playthrough. Food supply seems to be doing okay. Your warehouses report it's okay and something col- Oh! It's the earthquake!
This map has an earthquake. Ah, yes. Can't forget that. There it is. And also, before I forget, let's dispatch that. This is a scripted event, but I'm not sure if it's going to destroy this farm. I think it might. It totally destroyed that farm. But I think... Ooh, is it going to take this one as well? Oh, it went up that way. Okay, I think we're safe. I think we're safe. And we could have a road coming out here, actually. To do something like that. Have more prefecture engineers post over on this side. House there. Okay. So we lost one farm, but we're okay. And there's space for more farms. Okay, that should be... Actually, I don't need a house here, do I? Whichever road the walker goes down, there's houses. Okay. Ah, I'm still stockpiling pottery, because I don't want the markets distributing it quite yet. And I'm not sure... If I go to Education Library... That's covering there, but this guy's walking down that way. That's kind of... I'll just leave it there, it's fine. How's our employment? 10% unemployment, I can just check it there. What else? What other services do we need? Uh, barbers. We don't have any barbers. Um, have a barber there. Have a... You know what? I think I should clear off some of these houses on the end. Because those will be some of the harder ones to feed. Uh, barber can go there. Anything else we need? Oh, the gods, the gods. The gods are going to be unhappy, aren't they? They're all angry again. But we do have oracles, but we don't have marble. A bit of marble is coming in. Fantastic. We can put an oracle down here. There we go. So we'll use up some marble to build oracles. How's food supply? There's 540 there, none there. Okay. Ah, uh, little tricky, little tricky. All these houses... Oh, those houses over on that side don't have water. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It should go there, actually. Like that. And medium statues. I like this pattern. I'm gonna keep this pattern going of medium statues next to the fountains. There we go. Okay, city's looking good. City's looking good. Fruit farms are needed? Um, I'm not sure. We could put fruit farms, we could put wheat farms. I mean, there's gonna be requests for food, which I'm gonna have to deal with. And I'm not sure how exactly I want to deal with that right now. But we'll figure it out. Looks like we need more pig farms, though. Three more pig farms. You know what? Let's just max out on pig farms here. We'll feed as many people as we can with just the farms on this side. We might be able to get it a bit more... a bit more efficient. Can we? I mean... If I rearrange things, there might be a way to get one more farming. It's a little... Nah, it's fine. Let's move this reservoir over so we can do that. Clear up a bit of a path here. So we can have a low bridge crossing over to here. And w what we can have... is... A couple houses. Prefecture. Engineer's post. Warehouse, warehouse. This one, accepting... Wheat. This one, accepting fruit. 
Because the briefing did say that we're gonna have uh, requests. So let's go one wheat farm, one fruit farm. And technically I suppose I should have a way to store meat as well, but... I'll get that going first, okay. So pottery has come in, we've got plenty of pottery. Feeding the people is a little tricky. What is up? 3% um, unemployment. We need more food, don't we? It's a little tricky, it's a little tricky. How are the gods feeling? Indifferent? Let's get one more oracle down. Here? There? We could have a row of oracles here. That might look okay. Alright, we're a little short on money. I guess we can start exporting pottery, can't we? Export when it's over... 16 units. And we're gonna start using and trading the resource. So this is now gonna go grab pottery from over there. Uh, getting more food. I could have a granary over on this side. Which might be handy. Prefecture. If I put a granary. Once this fills up with meat, I could put a granary over here set to getting. Which I think I will do. Getting food, okay. Employees needed. All right, we're going to be evolving these houses soon with pottery. There we go. Up to needing furniture. Can we get furniture? We can import wood. Oh, we can import furniture straight. Ah, how interesting. We could actually just straight up import furniture. Okay. If I move that there, I could make room for a warehouse here. But that's far from the markets. I think I might want to have a warehouse here. Set to accepting furniture. And this market over here, uh, this warehouse over here, set to getting furniture. These Okay. This backup food starting to come in. Okay. In case there's any request for wheat or fruits, that'll be good. Meat's coming in. Uh, we should be grabbing food up that way. These houses are evolving. But feeding up this way is going to be tricky. Once there's some food over on this side, I could put like a market here or something. That'll be good. We can start to garden up. That looks good. Ah, I like the way this is looking. I like the way this is looking. Importing furniture directly would be expensive, yeah. I might I might set up a furniture industry here. If I just extend this road a little bit, it'll actually be okay. Bought all that marble. I, I could import timber. I could import timber into like a warehouse here and have some furniture workshops, which would be good. But before I do that, I'm gonna stockpile that. I'm gonna have a warehouse here set to accepting just... Oh, this will be for timber, okay. Wheat come, is it? Does wheat come in much faster than fruits? Because there's three wheat and only one fruit. Is wheat more efficient than fruit? I'm not too sure about the actual time. I'm not sure. Anyway. We can start selling. So food's over here, pottery's over here. We can put a market down right there, next to the barber. How is education looking, library? Okay, we've got coverage. Fire, damage, all looking okay. Entertainment, theater, you can see the destination walker. Actor colony to theater, it's a single line road. All the houses are covered. 
uh, entertainment, you can see amphitheater, same thing. Uh, what else? Health. Barber. A little low coverage over on this side. We might be able to fix that if we have a third barber there. Now that looks ugly. Barber there. Health. Baths. Looking okay with three baths. Health. Clinics. Looking okay. Normal. Okay. Okay. Looks good. Looks good. We're at 1,700 people. There's a lot of people can be held right here. Anyway. Can I make this road any more efficient? If I I could move the prefecture over there and the engineer's post over there and we could shorten this road by two tiles. So anything wandering this way will have space to come back around this way. Food is split up a little bit, so there's a food supply. Food supply is okay here, food supply is okay there, so there is enough food going around. 600 food there. We just need to go down that way. Gods are happy, fantastic. Which means I could probably put down another... Oh, we, we don't have any marble, that's fine. There we go, now we're finally evolving these houses with this market. All that food was just dumped into there. Ah. It's not the most efficient setup, but uh, this earthquake makes farms a little tricky on this mission. Pig, veg, fruit will feed 160 people. Wheat on non-northern maps feeds 320. Wheat is more efficient, apparently. It's okay, we're going meat. <laughs> now, what are our actual rating requirements? Prosperity shouldn't be a problem. Culture's fine. Peace is just gonna take time. So all of this is looking pretty good. With all of these houses evolved, there's plenty of extra room for immigrants, which is good. Food levels are low. So I'm not sure if this number of pig farms is enough to support all of this. But maybe I could solve this. I have a bridge over this side. I could actually... Have this road extend like that. And... Farm. Pigs. <laughs> it's probably not the most efficient way. Oh, I blocked the... <laughs> <laughs> I blocked the bridge. Uh, farm. Pigs. It's there. Okay. We can do this. Prefecture. Engineer's post. Couple houses. That's gonna bring more food down this side. And that will... That should provide enough food for everything, right? That should. And that should also take up my 11% unemployment. There we go. Once those houses move in, that looks good. Uh, let's go ahead and put an oracle. Should I put an oracle there? How's our tax coverage? Commerce, tax income. It's okay. But perhaps I should move this forum over like that. So it's a bit closer, covers the houses a bit better. Oracle can go right there. Oh, we don't have any marble, right? We're selling all of it. Pottery's over on this side. Food, 200,100. Okay. So all of this is looking okay. Once this food comes in, this market will stabilize. These houses should be fed. Those houses have moved in. All of that's gonna be working fine. Ah, fantastic. So it's a single line city. No intersections, except for there. <laughs> There's an inter the granaries are intersections, I guess. But that's fine. And yeah, now we should be able to just keep things going. Pretty sure my tax rate is too low. It's at 5%, that's okay. So now we need to start. What we can do is start importing. We gotta open up this trade route. So we can start importing timber. 
and we can have workshops, furniture. We can do that. Ten fruit, twenty-four months to comply. That is on the way. Now, how can I make this a bit more efficient? Uh, actually, if I just extend this road a little bit. To do that. I could have workshop pottery. And workshop furniture. And we're going to be importing timber. There we go. That's going to take up a bit of money. A bit of money. But I think it's going to be okay. Are the gods feeling pleased? Uh, we could probably get one more oracle down. We'll put it there. I'll, I'll have a row of oracles there. That looks good. There we go. Furniture is going to start coming in. We are going to be stockpiling the furniture first and also we got to make sure we're not accepting furniture or timber in any of these existing warehouses. I hate how this happens but it does happen. Okay, turn that off and this one as well. Turn that off. We're getting furniture pottery here. Okay. Food has come in on that side on so that means we could probably turn off getting here and set this to just accepting me because food's being fed into both granaries now so we don't need to put any more strain on this one lots of meat is streaming in there's another 400 there's 600 stocked up there 600 stocked up there 82 stocked up there do i need another market on this side or perhaps i just put down another market right here be safe. Let me put the school here and I'll put the market there. 2,000 people. Would you look at that? Ah, uh, What's the pop requirement? Two and a half thousand. We're almost there. We're almost there. Ah, uh, and look at that. 150 of you watching right now on Twitch. Thank you all so much. Ah. Uh. And by the way, just so you guys know, the subscribers on Twitch, we're almost at my first main goal. My first main goal. Uh, because my first main goal is 60 or yeah, 60 subscribers on Twitch. 61, I think, is what I need. 60, I need 61 subscribers on Twitch to actually uh, basically cover any risk. Apollinarius just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you so much. <laughs> Apollinarius. By the way, Twitch subscribers, and if you're on Patreon as well, you can link and get a special subscriber role on Discord. Discord.gg slash games like link down below. Um, we have Twitter. Yeah, I'm almost at the, the first goal, which means uh, basically any ad revenue fluctuations on YouTube will be covered by Twitch. Any ad revenue fluctuations on YouTube will be covered by Twitch, and that's with 60 subscribers, and we're now at 55, thanks to Apollinarius. Ah, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> uh, someone else with Twitch Prime earlier? Sajuk, get me that name. Get me that name. I didn't see it. Get me the name. Uh, now, what are we actually doing here? These houses are still not being fed, really. Why does this market not have any resources? Where are you walking to? Did you just get... You just picked up pottery. Okay. Furniture is going to be coming in. The dock is sort of cramped up here. I might be able to alleviate some of this problem with a second dock. If I do that and move the prefecture and engineer's post... Actually, if I do this engineer's post... Prefecture, get rid of that, get rid of that. We could clear that off, have this road just extend along there. There we go, two docks. KBRU508 subscribed earlier. Thank you so much. Ah. 
Uh, Manson says, so $90 worth of ad value for a channel like this. No, it, it doesn't quite, doesn't quite equate like that. <laughs> it doesn't quite equate like that. Uh, by the way, I am not allowed to tell you exactly the numbers. It's in the contract, I can't tell you. Jao Silva 209 says, how are you? I'm doing good, I'm doing good. This map is working out much better than I thought it would. Money's low because we just bought a lot of stuff. Uh, I'm gonna want two more oracles here as we go along. We're just waiting for some money. Food supply seems to have stabilized. All these houses are now fed. That's been sent off. This market is stocked. This market is getting food. This market is getting food. This market is stocked. So all of that looks pretty good. Let's get another oracle down for our row of oracles right there. And can I make this look good with like... Do something like that. Yeah, just to make things look a bit okay. I have a couple gardens back there as we go along. Okay, okay. I could just go ahead and get that next oracle down. That'll keep the gods happy. Mm. Food? Looking good. Stockpile of wheat. So wheat is definitely a more viable solution, but I didn't- I don't want to use wheat every time. I don't want to use wheat- I don't want to always be min-maxing, getting everything perfect. I want to- to make things look good, be different, be interesting. How's our employment? 11% unemployment. You know what? Have yourself an academy right there. Let's make these people a bit more educated. And furniture should allow us to get to the population target we require. Just making sure all the markets are stocked stably and nicely. Furniture is starting to come in here. Uh, I could have more furniture workshops, I think. Workshop furniture. If I just do that and that, leaving a gap there so there is a way out of the city. That looks good. A couple more furniture workshops should get that covered. Two docks seems to cover the requirements. Granaries are filling up with meat, so food is no longer an issue with these four markets distributing everything very nice and evenly. All the houses are pretty covered, I think. Food stocks, no problems. Uh, anything risks, problems. No employees live nearby. What? How does that happen? I guess if I have a couple houses there, that should solve the problem, right? Maybe they're walking this way and not quite reaching that house. Okay. Ah! And these farms help with unemployment too? Yeah. Basically, if you build super efficiently, unemployment is a huge problem. So... By building somewhat inefficiently, like having three schools scattered here, two libraries and just things all over the place, making it inefficient actually makes things uh, more balanced. Let's have a couple of... I like using fountains as... Oh, there's no water there? The water doesn't reach there. That sucks. Could I solve that if I shift the reservoir over two tiles? I think I can. Reservoir. One, two. That will solve that problem. Oh, I only needed to move over one, actually, but that's still good. That works out. Okay. I like using fountains as decorations. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. And just, I, I realize I never access the advisors with the keyboard. You can press one, two, three, four, five, six to get to where you want. <laughs> I never use the keyboard. Anyway, all of this is coming in. Furniture. Why is furniture ending up here? I did not fix that. Okay. So furniture has come in. So before I allow furniture to trade, I gotta make sure food supplies are actually okay. I think it's okay. Let's stop stockpiling because all these markets are going to start walking over so they're currently going to get food so that gets a bunch of food back into there and now they're going to all rush over this side while this guy is 
off to get some furniture to bring back over to that side as well. While more furniture comes in. No employees live nearby. Ah. Where's the couple houses here? Two houses there. We need a couple houses there. Okay. All right, it's looking good. Four percent unemployment. How are ratings doing? Prosperity is good. Cultures good. Uh, peace, favor. Okay, we're just waiting for. I think we could. Do we raise favor if I drop? What am I being paid now? Eight denarii per month. If I drop it to f like five. If I pay myself less. It might uh, make my favor go up a bit more, I think. I think, or just fulfilling requests, I think. We can speed things along now. Things are looking pretty stable. Furniture has come in, look at that. And they need a supply of oil to go any further, which we cannot get oil on this map, I think. I don't think we can get oil, can we? I don't think so. Yeah, I, th I don't think we can get oil. Uh, this market should be getting furniture as well. These markets might run out of food for a short while as they all rush to get furniture. No, no furniture made it over there. That's okay. Fill up a few gardens here and there just to make things look nice. Money is not really an issue. That's okay, I guess. All right, there we go. Now, every house has furniture. That's going to bring in our required population. We'll dispatch that. Oh, it took all the pottery from this side. No problem. We still got pottery there. I think pottery supply is fine. Foods come back to that market. Food should be okay. Each of these houses can hold like 600 food, so it's actually fine. And the granaries are full. The granaries are full. Why is this supply of furniture ran out, huh? How could I... I think the music has stopped as well. There we go. How could I solve this? If I move the school over... What is this? A barber? If I go barber... Move the school here. I could have another backup market here. Because why not? We can go medium statue, medium statue. And garden up like that. Okay. That looks good. I like this, this single snake road. I think it looks good. Furniture, pottery, food. Furniture, pottery, food. So we, everything's stocked up on both sides. Overlay commerce, food stocks. It's a little low there. It's at 35. This market does have food. We just need the market lady to walk that way. This market's getting more food. Okay. Some of the meat pushers are putting it over to that side now. Because this filled up. I think that should be okay though. Okay. I think food stocks will hold out. I think it will be okay. Tamo Tachik says, I always set my salary to zero and favor drops with one every year. Are there any differences between statues and gardens in terms of land value it provides? I think statues are better. I think statues are better. Anyway, that should raise our favor. Fantastic. So now we're just sort of waiting. We're just sort of waiting for peace to raise up. Furniture's coming in okay. Food stocks replenish there. Furniture's stocked on both sides, I think, yes. 
And this should be relatively stable. Now, I think we could go ahead and increase the cost of fruit. We can go ahead and plaza up this road. How do I want to have the plaza go down like this? We're going to plaza up the main road. Because we got plenty of money. We're going to plaza this up. Up until there, at least. Plaza up until there. That looks good. That looks good. So we're not quite at our desired population. We're just a little short. And I'm not sure if there's... Is there still room for people to move in? Or do we need one more house or something like that? I think I need one more house. Or maybe like two more houses. Where can I fit two more houses? Why are these... Ran out of supply of furniture? Ugh. This is why I don't like not having gatehouses or roadblocks. It makes things a little unstable, but it should be okay. So we just sort of need to boost our population a tiny bit. Just a little bit. Where, what can I clear off? I suppose I could clear off some of these temples, right? If I change, like move these temples around. Small temple. Mercury. If I move Mercury over to this side... Let's move Neptune. I'll move this one over. And change that to a house. You know what? That's actually bad. You know why? Because desirability. It's better on this side. Change that to a house. Small temple. Mercury's going there. For trade. That makes sense, right? Mercury for trade. Besides that, things seem pretty stable. A uh, few more people are moving in here. These houses hold 80. So if anything, we'll be short by like a, a dozen or so people. Food stocks looking good. Markets looking stocked. Very good. When you don't have roadblocks, you just need enough markets and enough stuff. I think. Look at that. Unemployment's at 9%. Is there anything else we need? Culture needs theatres. Ah, yes. We're gonna need to do that. Uh, I guess we could just... Have an extra theatre and amphitheatre over there, but it would be better if it's on this side. Is there anything I could clear off? I guess we have enough marble coming in, right? Theatre. And we have enough furniture coming in as well. So we could have two theatres down this side. Because not all of these furniture workshops are functioning, so that should be fine. All the pottery workshops except for one are functioning, that's, that's good, keeping it efficient. The theatres are now working, culture is back up to where it needs to be. Peace is at 21. So unless we get another request from uh, Caesar, we're not going to be able to get our favor up in time. But I do have a bit of a savings, so you could always give a gift. You know what? Looking at the rating, 55. To get 15 favor, I'm just going to send a gift now. 65. Okay. So if there's one more request, I'll, I'll get it. I, he said he was going to request more... Food, right? He's only requested food once. Uh, behind the doctors next to the granary bath, remove the medium park. Behind... but there's no... there's no water there. Uh, fountain. Large statue. Fits nicely there. Garden up. Um... Behind 
The fountain, doctor, medium, park. I'm not sure what you're referencing. Headforge says, I like your design, looks very clean. Oh, thank you. It looks like a real block, right? It looks like rows of houses. <laughs> and look at that, that's now evolved. X room for 60, which will get us to 2 for uh, 70. So we're just a little... One more house will secure us the population we need. Or what we actually could do is see these one tile things. We could have like one house back there. And one single tile house holds 20 people. So we could actually have one more, like a couple more back there. Like that. Around that doctor. And those three single tile houses will get us what we need. We could also squeeze in more over there and there if we so desired actually. Uh, but that should bring us the population we need and you know just to speed it up i will do this house house okay and we're gonna need a fountain for this side because water doesn't quite reach there there we go those are evolving that's already evolved 2445, those houses will evolve as well. Alright, I, I like I like how this turned out. This is much better than the, the last time in the original series. This looks so much more interesting. Right? Uh, Marcus Dilal says, just on the place on the medium park, remove it. It's next to the bath which is under the granary. The bath under the granary. Oh, put a house here. Oh, yeah, I could actually do that. If I get rid of this, I could put a 2x2 two two house. Because that's a road. I could put a 2x2 two two house right there. That's a good spot. And we could just shift the medium statue over to there. And we can just garden up like that. Oh, right, because... These two tiles here are technically too far away, uh, but when the house expands to a two by two, it will it can expand over into that side. But there we go. Those two houses there. We actually hit our population target. It's fine. So now the only things left are the peace and favor ratings, which means we just speed it up and just to be safe, just to be safe, yeah, just to be safe. We can speed it up. We should be good to go. As long as things don't... Did I not plaza this up? Geez, some of you would have hated that. <laughs> there we go. Plaza it up. And we just need to wait for peace to hit 30. And we could always just... Because I don't see any other requests coming in. I don't see any other requests. Favor's done. That means peace is 26. Okay. Good. I think we won. I think we won. I think it's good. What is the key for that? 2, 3, 4, 5, 74. Okay. Prosperity good. Peace. Okay. Peace just goes up every year as long as your city's not destroyed by invaders. Uh, what are people unhappy about? Employment? Have yourself an academy. I have a couple academies over here. That should deal with employment. Down back to 10%. Fantastic. That does also raise culture. So now it's November. Let's see if peace does it this year. If we hit January... Victory! Caesar has promoted you to the rank of... Qu quest... Questor, que, Questor, Questor, Questor. We'll go with Questor. Questor. Accept promotion. Taraku's food exports got the empire through a dark period. Citizens owe you their lives, and governors their jobs. Harvests are now returning to normal. And I have a new use for your talents. All right, and that is the end of Taraco. 
and I really liked how that one turned out. That was really good. Anyway, if you're interested in uh, continuing the series, if you're watching on YouTube, I will be putting a couple buttons on the screen right about now where you can select the next mission, which the next peaceful mission should be this one. Miletus, a largely peaceful province, or... Mediolanum, a very dangerous province. This one, there's some, there's some proper military on that one. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you liked the designs. Thank you all so much for joining, and I will see you in the next video.